healthy living. Um, so that's all good. When his doctor delivered the bad news. On your CAT scan, things were a little backed up. John Velikokin knew he needed to act fast. Diagnosed with colon cancer, John needed surgery, but had options. My choice was either open up and then traditional way of removing it or to go to the robotic surgery. It's called the Da Vinci Surgical System, a multi-million dollar machine that allowed John's doctor There's the tumor right there. to cut out a large tumor without actually doing the cutting. And the instrument takes my movements and transfers them to the proper tools inside to do the cutting and the sealing of blood vessels. Dr. Stephen Rao is a pioneer in robotic surgery. In 2003, he began trading in his scalpel for a remote control. It was and remains a virtual unknown. Rao says using high-definition cameras, three-dimensional imaging, and precision controls makes his job easier. What the robotic revolution has allowed is greater degrees of freedom, greater reach, all done through much smaller access incisions. This technique is more time consuming, but Rao says the results are better. I'm just thrilled it worked out for you. Gary Picard underwent the procedure earlier this year. Your body's readjusting to the, the surgery, so I, I do a week to week thing, and, uh, and every week I feel better and stronger than I did the week before. Just 14 weeks after surgery, he's well on his way to making a full recovery. I would have a hard time touching and feeling where the incisions were because there's no tenderness. And while no one wants colon cancer, it's good to have some high-tech choices. I think I'm much more uh, at peace with the decision, knowing that it has to be done. No other alternatives to it. There is no medicine to cure for it. For Healthy Living, I'm Casey Bortnick.